Hello, Scorpio singles, and welcome to your second, your first half, pardon me, first half of May 2019. General reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. And this is going to be for Scorpio singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So, Scorpio, as with any other general reading, there may be certain aspects of the reading that may resonate with your personal situation and some that may not. I invite you to listen to this reading with an open mind. Take what resonates for you. Do not force fit the reading and um, yeah, discard the rest. Okay, because that could be a part of someone else's story. Okay, what part doesn't resonate with you? Okay. Scorpios. <clears throat> if you guys would like to book a personal reading, go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. You do not have to email me to book a reading. You would just go directly to the website and book from there. All right, Scorpio. Similar energy from last... Last month, central overall energy is mental repetition and self-love. Something here that you're constantly thinking about. Okay, maybe you took some time away to focus on yourself for a moment. Okay, doesn't mean that you don't you didn't love this person, but I do feel like there was a situation here with involving communication, a breakdown in communication with someone in your life. And I feel like this break, this breaking communication is causing confusion. I feel like some of you uh, Scorpios could definitely benefit from detoxing or maybe you're detoxing from people in your life, circumstances in your life. Maybe you're going on some type of physical detox. I feel like there could be fear. Spirit is saying, like, what I fear? Fear for what? Like, why allow fear to stop you? But by the same token, I'm seeing whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. So don't make any type of hasty emotional decisions. Spirit is saying use logic, think things through. And I feel like there's signs and synchronicities that are around you that maybe you're not seeing or you are aware of, some of you. Spirit says believe what you're seeing. It's, it's not a coincidence. It's there for a reason. Yeah, right now it looks like you can't see a thing. It's like things are so dark around you. Um, this could even speak of weather, right? It's the springtime though. I don't know. I guess it could be raining where you are, but I feel like this is more emotional than anything. You just don't know how to see your way through a situation. Things may seem a bit confusing right now. And it could have something to do with a situation that you maybe have some regrets about, right? Maybe you feel that you would have been better off making different choices in your life. Especially when it came to someone in particular. Because I feel like there, there was some type of conflict that drove the two of you apart. I feel also that your mind could be getting the best of you. Right? There could be something that you're building up in your mind. Making it so big. That it's hindering you from moving forward. On the flip side of that, I feel like taking action on something could land you in a place of winning, okay? I've got similar cards for Libra, so I feel like something could be dealing with a Libra. Oh, some of you are really into your phone. You're like really focused on your phone. You stop talking to someone. Some of you are on this crazy diet, right? It's making you crazy. It could even be making you lose sleep or you're losing sleep thinking, like I said, mental repetition, thinking about something over and over again. Yeah, very similar cards to Libra. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius. Um, I feel, Scorpio, that this is a time to focus on your priorities. Focusing on your priorities will help you get to where it is that you want. It'll help you take action because I feel like you're about to be very busy. Some of you are traveling from place to place. 
Um, maybe some of you are looking for a home um, at this current time. Yeah, some of you are detoxing because you're going through a recovery period. Some of you could be recovering from surgery, recovering from a loss of a relationship, recovering from some type of drug and alcohol situation, or going into some type of detox program, right? Because it looks like you're focusing on your health right now, okay? And there could have been something here that was very toxic, Okay, some type of toxic behavior here that could that you could be looking into, right? And you're you're wanting to make improvements within yourself. But I do see that there's someone here that you want to communicate with because I'm saying you want to come to a peaceful resolution with someone, and that's going to take for you to open up and be clear, state clearly what it is that you want. And I feel like you've been waiting for something, waiting for someone, waiting for maybe the perfect moment possibly to capitalize on a situation. But taking action definitely brings in an increase. Oh gosh, the baby's moving so much. An increase in finances, movement, changes. I feel like um, Scorpios, you're feeling very uncomfortable in your current circumstance. Right? Maybe you feel stuck or you feel stifled in some way. Right? You feel like you don't have enough room, enough space. Maybe this speaks to your mental capacity right now. You feel like you don't have enough space mentally to think things through, if that makes sense. I feel like balance is going to be a priority this month. Finding a way to get balance so that you can think clearly, think through something that you're dealing with. I feel like there's someone coming into your life or returning to your life that could be very outgoing. Maybe you were very uh, attracted to that outgoing, charismatic personality. This person was friendly and natural leader. Um, and I feel like you had a lot of meaningful conversations with this person. But I feel like there was some type of phone call that may have taken place here that may have surprised you. Something here took you by surprise. And something here, because of whatever took you by surprise and broke your heart, is causing you to take a step back and feel, it's causing you to feel a bit reluctant about what to do moving forward, all right? Because it looks like you've grown tired of waiting some of you, you're tired of waiting for news about a job, um, news about a court situation possibly, news about a decision. Someone could be, you could be waiting for someone to make a decision between you and someone else. And maybe the last time you spoke to this person, Scorpio, I mean, the, the vibe wasn't very good. Some of you Scorpios could be getting a message of concern that could be what this communication is about. And yes, it could be about a, a court decision. Or like I said, you're waiting on someone to de decide. Maybe you're waiting for someone to decide on a housing situation. Or maybe you're waiting for your ex-partner to decide whether or not you can return home to them. Okay. I feel like money, yeah, money is a, a priority or maybe just a lot of negative thinking surrounding money. Some adversity you've been going through. Spirit is saying you're going to be able to triumph over that. But for sure there is a message coming in for you. Some of you Scorpios could be waiting for someone to leave a, ma a marriage or to go through some type of a divorce process. Or perhaps this person wasn't really legally married at all. Maybe there was a long-standing relationship that they had. Maybe they lived together. Maybe this was a circumstance between you and this person. And perhaps maybe the thing that you've grown tired of is waiting for this person to get themselves together to marry you, right? To propose and to have a serious relationship because you feel very close to this person. You love this person, but there's someone trying to stand in the way. Someone is trying to, it could be a mother figure, mother-in-law. I just see an older mother figure. Could be your child's mother. But you found something out, and it definitely shattered your world. It definitely put you on alert. Something here that you might be finding out about that you didn't expect. Or maybe this was past tense. 
So you could be finding, some of you could be in school and you could be finding out that you didn't pass a test or that you didn't um, pass a class. For some of you, you found out that your partner cheated on you or was married. And you feel like you just wasted your time. Definitely for some of you, an age difference. There's going to be a situation here, Scorpio, either past tense or something that's coming in that is going to require you to ground yourself, right? Because something may catch you off guard. It could be something good, and it could be something unexpected. But the reason that you're seeing all these signs and synchronicities is because your spirit guides are definitely trying to connect to you and get your attention, okay, to get you prepared for what's coming next. I feel like this is a good time to research some information when it comes to your career. And some of you are definitely dealing with le legalities. Make sure to take care of legal issues. Obey the traffic laws. But you might have some legal issues to take care of. It might have a lot to do with child support. Traffic tickets. I feel like now is the time to definitely focus on your dreams. Right now you might be feeling confused about what that dream is. But I feel like in the month of May, this is going to be a time of healing, of connecting, mending, and releasing. There's a relationship here, Scorpio, that you're wanting to revisit. A relationship that caused you a lot of stress and strife. In a situation that caused you to be emotionally exhausted, but still, for some reason, you want this back. You want to communicate with this. Something is compelling you, right? The signs and synchronicities are showing you that it's time to make amends with someone, though you're very reluctant to do so, and though you're feeling a bit confused about how to get this done. Some fear, right? But I do feel like there's an opportunity to mend a bridge that had been broken. On the flip side of this, I feel like some of you could be working yourself into exhaustion or staying up thinking about situations, not getting enough sleep, feeling stressed out and overwhelmed by your circumstances, which is why Spirit is saying, huh, ground yourself, right? Attract into your life what it is that you want. Some type of unexpected news. Yes, I'm getting that again. Something could have happened unexpectedly. There could have been an unexpected end of a job. Um, there could have been a death in your family. A death, excuse me, of a pet that was very unexpected. Yeah, Scorpio, so, sorry about that. But yeah, I feel like you guys want to leave a stressful situation with work. That could be causing you a lot of exhaustion. Like some of you could be musically inclined or you want to go into something. This is definitely sim similar to Libra. Some of you are definitely dealing with Libras, or you have a heavy Libra in your chart. Yeah, you're very musically inclined, or you want to go into music. Um, maybe some of you could be writing music or performing. You have dreams and aspirations of becoming some type of a performer, or changing the world, or to be uh, become a worldwide name. And some of you, I feel like you're not happy where you are. You're not feeling fulfilled with your career. It's not something that you love. And yeah, you may be coming to some type of stark realization that it's time to leave a situation or that could be the message that you're getting that it's time to walk away from a job situation. Now, relationship wise, this was a stressful, exhausting relationship, as I stated to you earlier. Right. And I feel like there could have been two directions that you are choosing from, two people that you are choosing from when it comes to a love relationship relationship where maybe you feel like this person didn't give their all um, and it could have had something to do with financial financial situations there could have been issues here within this relationship that had a lot to do with finances you're afraid to open up and tell this person how you really feel I feel like you really truly want to reconnect with this person and have a new beginning but it's like the past is haunting you. You're having a very difficult time moving on from the past. Though, like I said, this is a time of, of healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. 
and these signs and synchronicities are showing you that yes, this is the one that you are likely meant to be with for some of you. This is not for everyone. This is not for the Scorpios that are saying, I don't want this person back. Though, if that's the case, I'm not sure why you're watching the video. Why don't you click on it if you don't want this person back? Just saying. But anyway, I do see commitment, marriage here on the horizon. Some of you are definitely thinking about going back to school or teaching in some type of capacity. Possibly going into business for yourself, but fearing the worst when it comes to doing this. Because maybe you feel like you don't have the footing or the finances to be able to do so. Maybe you feel like your fears are definitely getting the best of you. So you're a bit reluctant to step into something new. Okay, But something here may force you to. And with the Three of Cups, there's cause for celebration. A lot of good things. right? I feel like you're going to be in... It puts you in the driver's seat of your, um, your life by taking action on something. By not just daydreaming. Right? Some of you are afraid to quit your day job because you're you're like fear of the unknown. Some of you are afraid to go to school because right, finance is how will I support myself? But you're feeling like this is the right change and direction for you. Right? You could be in a field that's very competitive. There could be a lot of arguments going on around you. Um, a lot of drama in the workplace. And maybe work wise you feel like you're not getting the acceptance or the um, maybe you feel like you're being overlooked for a raise, even though you're working your butt off and doing the best that you can, right? And it's just really taking its toll on you. Maybe in the relationship you felt overlooked. Some of you are afraid to leave a situation and go into business for yourself because you don't feel like you're going to get the success. You don't feel like you're going to reap the reward that you want. Some of you feel stuck, but this is all mental. This is all mental energy. But truly, I feel like something's coming up that's going to inspire you. But yeah, you're feeling stuck in your own thoughts, your own fears. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. For some of you, there could be an abrupt end to a living situation. Okay, and maybe you're going to court. Maybe some of you are getting evicted and you're having to deal with that situation. Right, feeling like you don't have the money that you need to pay to stay where you are. Maybe there was just this failure to communicate. Maybe when you found out this message, you received this message maybe from a landlord, you just didn't know what to do. So you kind of just sat there, right, and tried to bide your time to try to figure it out, right, to fight through these thoughts. I feel like you're not feeling happy, but I feel like there's cause for celebration with some type of patience or you're waiting for something. But I feel like some of you could be waiting for you could be waiting for communication. Like I said about a judgment situation. Um, you could be waiting for communication from someone that you love, waiting for your circumstances to change. But you've got so many subconscious fears here. A lot of negative thinking. Fear of change, fear of what may come, fear of what may not arrive, but I do see that money is on the way. A message about money is arriving here. Change is coming, though you may not see it because you're not really in tune with your intuition. You're kind of cut off from the world right now and distancing yourself from people that, that care for you. Or maybe this is you just distancing yourself because maybe you do need some time to think. Maybe you are needing time for prayer and meditation, like I said, to ground yourself, to think about what your next move and strategy is. And for some of you, it's just time to be on the move when it comes to a job situation because you're dealing with a boss who is very tyrannical, very by the book, and just up, you know, like on your case all the time. And the situation is causing you to feel that it, you just need a break. You just need some time to recover from all the things that are going on in your life because you might feel like there's a lot of things going on at once. Now, there's a love relationship or people around you that you feel that you can't rely on. Maybe that's how you felt with this love relationship. Maybe this person is being ice cold with you. Maybe they've blocked you in some way. 
Maybe some of you are having a lot of fears, um, thinking that, that judgment isn't going to go in your favor. You fear the judge is not going to be impartial, you know, partial to your situation. You're waiting for the, the, the next shoe to drop, right? You just on eggshells. But a lot of disappointments that you've dealt with in life, like I said, they're all coming down on you, taking their toll. But like I said, I almost called you guys Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Scorpio, it's like, like I said, it's taking its toll on you. But I, I do see changes coming, and I definitely see money coming in for you. I just see money getting better and better. Okay, if you're waiting for work, I do see work opportunities coming together. You collaborating with other people on new, new situations. I'm seeing um, new projects coming together. Maybe this was a third party situation that had something to do with work and you're waiting to reconcile with someone. Maybe you cheated with someone on the job and that caused a lot of stress, um, a lot of undue attention, a lot of gossip, right? You, that, that wasn't the attention that you were looking for, right? You just wanted to be loved or have somebody on the side that you were working with. But it backfired, right? And now you're stressed. And that could have gotten you fired. But I feel like newness is coming in, freshness. Looking at situations with fresh eyes. Um, I feel like a situation that you stood your ground on, you're starting to give up on, right? You, you wanted to fight for this relationship, but now you're starting to give up. But truthfully, you do love this person, but right now you're feeling a bit rejected. But still hopeful that the two of you can work it out. Feeling rejected, feeling lost. Yeah, there could definitely have been a job loss, job loss in finances. But I do see cause for celebration, right? With taking action on something. You've been waiting, possibly procrastinating sitting back and waiting for opportunities to come to you, but I'm seeing you. It's time for you to get busy and get that fire in your belly and go for what it is that you want. Some of you, um, the situation, like I said, sur surrounds a child, um, court cases surrounding children, or some of you could be um, trying to recover a relationship with an estranged parent or maybe you're estranged from your parent, I get strong fire energy. So fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, I get that. I pick that up very strongly here. But yeah, you're mending bridges. You're realizing just how strong and resilient you are, that you've overcome so many things, and you're getting out of this position of being a victim or having this victim-like mentality and stepping into your own power. And I feel like as a result, blessings come in and shower your life. Now, some of you are, yeah, you're, going, you're thinking, you're definitely contemplating a decision to go into business for yourself. Um, some of you, you may have missed a birthday of a child, and that's really what's on your mind. Lack of clarity, yes, about a court case. Some of you are feeling like a, yeah, I get it again, feeling like a victim. Maybe there could have been a victim here, a, a situation here where you felt taken advantage of. Um, someone took your kindness for weakness. Maybe someone stole from you. And you're going to court about that decision. But I see success. I see rebirth. I see that though you've gone through some very difficult decisions and some difficult issues in life, I feel like keep moving forward. Don't stop. Keep taking action. And you'll get to this place of success. Some of you, there may be a decision here that, that may be um, coming back to the table where you may have to reconsider something that you maybe said no to, maybe something that you thought was unlikely, but I see that you're ready to take the reins, though you feel like you're not, though you may feel like you're in this place of uncertainty, right? But Spirit says, look before you leap, get more information. Find out what it is that you need to do in order to strategize, right, to get to that next level. To get to that increase in finances, to achieve that dream, or to speak to the person that you absolutely love and that you miss, and that you're thinking about and that you can't get off your mind, who so happens to be a soulmate, but someone that you have very strong trust issues with, for one reason or another, because they had a third party. 
But yeah, you're definitely focused on your money, your finances. That's your central energy here, right? That's what you're really going after right now. But yeah, reconciliation, confirmation of that. That's what's really on your mind. But issues here with finances could be causing drawbacks right now. But like I said, change is coming. And yeah, you may have felt like you had to step away and put yourself first. And there's definitely a decision that someone is going to have to make very soon. Right? And that's what these signs and synchronicities are about. Telling you that it's time for you to make a decision. Time is of the essence. Time to get over these fears. Hold on one second. I'm going to step out of the frame. Time to let go of these fears that are holding you back and keeping you stuck. Right? That's what these signs and synchronicities are about. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. Right? If this is something that's bigger than you and I, you've got to follow through on that by listening to your intuition. Yeah, some of you have definitely been waiting playing the waiting game and you're allowing your spirituality to be your strength, your your strong suit, or maybe through your spirituality, that's how you're going to get grounded and see the light and get out of this place of mental conflict. But one thing is for sure, there's this feeling of emotional loss, right? Loss of a job, loss of a home, loss of stability, loss of this... <sighs> Yeah, maybe even mental stability, feeling like you're losing your mind, that you can't sleep, that your mind is just getting the best of you. I feel like your abilities will be enhanced. See, yeah, I, however that mean, whatever that means to someone. Cross watcher, wedding, reawaken is what I'm getting. Someone wants a chance to Bring back together a relationship that was broken apart. Feelings within you may be reawakened. Crosswatcher, maybe. Like I said, you waited for, to, for this person to get themselves together, right? To marry you, to step up to the plate, and to level up and say that they're ready, right? And waiting for them to put on the big boy draws or the grown woman panties and say, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to say I do, right? I'm ready to assume that role and do what it takes to keep you in my life, right? And maybe some of you, like I said, grew tired of waiting. And now you're feeling heartbroken, waiting, waiting for a situation to change. I feel like someone wants to come in to, to, to ask for forgiveness. Scorpio, cross watchers. And you already know it. You have some type of strong inkling. Your intuition is telling you that the gap has not been closed between the two of you. The chapter is not over. That there is really, truly more to this story. But you're just not sure if you want to open up and accept this person's offer. Because part of you is wondering if this person really changed. Because you've gone through this cycle before of giving them a chance after chance after chance only to be disappointed again and again and again. And you're like, I just can't go through this. This is very similar to Libra, I promise you. Yeah, Libra for some of you. Yeah. I feel like part of you still wants to fight for the relationship, but it's like you put up your guard. It's like you, you're afraid to trust this person. You feel like you're going to have to watch them and keep a watchful eye over them. But truthfully, you know deep down inside that you love this Gemini or this Cancer or um, Pisces or Leo. And you know that you want to marry them. You know that you want forever with this person. And you know that you want things to be good between the two of you. But something definitely caused the relationship to go south. And you just don't feel like the two of you can overcome these, these issues and these problems. So you definitely put up this front of acting like you don't care when deep down inside you do cross watcher. I'm saying that a fire sign absolutely does love a an air sign or there is a fire sign that is having to make a decision between an air sign and a Sagittarius. 
Yeah. You're growing impatient. Like your patience is wearing thin with this situation. And you haven't healed, cross watcher, from the issues of the past. So you didn't want this person to, you didn't want the relationship to end the way that it did. You didn't want it to end at all. By the same token, you didn't want to feel like you were being taken advantage of. Yeah, you're definitely keeping your distance or you're ignoring this person. Because they deceived you in some way. There was a lot of arguing, a lot of bickering. And seeing the cycle of that caused you to kind of lose hope that the two of you could really save it and make it work. But it looks like you do want to work on it deep down inside. But this person could be returning to you very abruptly, very soon. You can't move on from the thought of this person. Though you broke up and you walked away, you know this is your soulmate. But you guys are just being very stubborn with one another, though there is this feeling of regret. But someone comes in to make amends. Someone here has something that they want to say. Possibly to an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. But at times you feel like letting this go. Because you're tired of arguing about the same thing over and over. So you just keep going back and forth in your head. But you know deep down inside that you love this person. Or this could be someone coming to a stark realization that they do love you. That they do want to make it work. But they're just tired of the drama. The betrayal. The backstabbing. So you could be, I could have been backstabbed or burned by a friend. A family member. Maybe this mother figure. And it's got you feeling like you don't know which direction to go. And some of you could definitely be traveling for your career. Some of you have aspirations to be on Broadway or to go to a different country or a different place. I'm seeing some of you hanging out with friends, reuniting with friends. Maybe your friend betrayed you and I'm seeing uh, friendships coming back together. But I'm seeing, yeah, some of you Scorpios are not really heeding the messages of your spirit guides or you're just feeling confused and not not sure about what to do what way to, what direction to go in but the messages are right there in front of you the advice holy spirit for scorpio surrender comparisons with other people it says keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power don't compare yourself to other people um, other people's talents other people's money, whatever it is, don't compare yourself. Let go of those comparisons. Or maybe this was just a situation where here where you're comparing your, you know, a third party situation, you're comparing the two. Spirit says, let that go. Let go of comparisons and surrender to joy. It says to keep a positive change, to a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. In other words, stay in a high vibration. Ground yourself. Don't be so fixated, right, on the day-to-day. -day. Because I'm saying mental repetition, as I said to you before. Don't get so caught up in your head in the negative thoughts. Don't believe every negative thought that you have. And then finally, I'm saying surrender your fear of intimacy. Some of you Scorpios have been hurt or you've hurt someone, been hurt by someone, and now it has you afraid of opening up and letting your guard down because you fear that closeness. You fear losing control and letting go of your emotions and giving your feelings and emotions over to someone else. Spirit says it may be time to come to terms with that and surrender that because it may be hindering you. And the signs and synchronicities are trying to show you that. So that's what I have for you, Scorpios, for the first half of May 2019. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. You can book um, right now uh, 
I recommend that you would book a phone reading or an emergency reading because I have those readily available right now and they don't require a wait. Um, however, the pre-recorded readings are still available, but they do require a bit of a wait. Um, so just bear in mind if you are interested in booking. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, guys. I hope that this helped someone out there. Take good care. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.